everybody, so this is going to be a quick review and demonstration of the Supergoop CC Cream. This is what it looks like. I have the full size container here, and I want to say I've had it for about two months or so, um, and I've wanted to do this review the entire time. If you are familiar with my channel, you know I've reviewed so many BB and CC creams, and um, this one, I'll tell you right off the bat, is definitely one of my favorites. So I want to share it with you guys in case you're a BB cream lover or CC cream lover like I am. However, it's been a tricky one to film because um, I got a shade that was slightly too dark for me. There are three, only three shades in this line, and I got the one in the middle, which is called Light to Medium, which I thought, I, I had read a bunch of reviews online and people said it ran a bit light, so I thought it would be fine for me, but when I'm pale, it's not. Uh, luckily, I just returned from Mexico three or four days ago now, so I still have a tan, although it's fading quickly, so I'm kind of in that in-between right now, so I feel like it's the right shade. I can film this and use it all on its own. The way I've been using it prior to this, since I've had it for two months, is by mixing it typically with lighter foundations, although when I was in Mexico I was mixing it with even a darker foundation because I got really tan, so it works really well mixing with foundation as well. But I feel like I have a really good feel of this uh, CC cream and I'm definitely ready to review it. So I will start off with some information about it real quick and then I'll show you myself applying it as usual. I have my laptop here, so I'm just reading off their website it uh, retails for $32 for the full size so it's not a um, inexpensive CC cream by any means and uh, it contains SPF 35 which is perfect for the summertime uh, it's good all year round but it's got a nice high SPF what else does it say about it 100% mineral UV protection ideal for sensitive skin types. It's infused with essential fatty acids, omega-3, omega-6, to neutralize discolorations and blotchiness and minimize inflammation. I don't know if I can really speak to those things. I don't deal with a lot of that, but brightening apple extract and light reflecting mica minerals deliver instant luminosity. And I'm wearing it right now. Uh, I don't have any uh, highlighter on or anything like that. I do have blush on, but other than that, it's just the CC cream, and I would say it definitely has a lot of light to it naturally, but not like a greasy, oily look to it. And one last thing I'm reading about it here is says that it's a self-adjusting shade. So there's three self-adjusting shades, um, but I think that only works within a certain range. Like right now, it did adjust to my neck and chest color, but that's because I already have a bit of a tan. When I'm super pale, it, it won't adjust that far, so it's with, within a certain realm. Alright, now I'm going to show you myself applying it real fast. Alright, so when I squeeze the product out, that's what the consistency looks like there. And I use about that much, and I just rub it between my fingers. And then just rub it all over my face, just like a moisturizer. I don't think it took quite enough. Like I said, I typically pair this with um, a little bit of foundation just because the color is a little bit off. So, but this time I think the color will be good given the level my tan is at the moment. So yeah, just making sure to blend it right to the edges of my face and down my neck and my eyelids. Um, it doesn't dry super fast. It feels honestly like an actual moisturizer, like just a regular face moisturizer, that consistency. I can feel it sinking in, but it doesn't get sticky, it doesn't dry super fast. Um, the coverage is fantastic for a BB cream in my opinion. I don't even think I need a second layer. Like usually with a lot of BB creams, I'll go ahead with a second layer. And this one I haven't needed to do that. Um, just a bit of concealer under my eyes and I'm fine. And yeah, even after a couple minutes here, I can still bl keep blending it and blending it. And I'll show you it uh, in a second when it dries. Alright, so it's been about two minutes. Um, and it's already dried down pretty much completely. And that's what it looks like. It's not shiny at all. Um, it's a little bit tacky still, but I want to put on some concealer before it totally sets. But if I were to just let it dry, it would just go like a semi-matte. Um, 
as you can see it's still got a bit of life in it but I wouldn't call it shiny at all so I just love the finish of it and uh, yeah, like I said, that's just one coat. You could totally use a brush to apply it if you wanted to, but I find it goes on fine with my fingers and why dirty a brush if you don't have to. All right, and here it is with uh, the finished makeup on top. All I did was put a little bit of setting powder on top. I do have um, concealer under my eyes just to add a little bit of extra coverage, although I think if I were to use a little bit more of this CC cream, like add a second coat in areas, it would have been fine. Um, and that's what it looks like there. So I think you can totally get away without setting it. I'm just a habit of setting, so I like to know that it's kind of set for the day, but I don't think you necessarily need it. It dries down, like I said, semi-matte. And yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. The reason I love it is a whole bunch of reasons. One, the coverage. I would consider this just as good as my foundation. And when I do mix it with foundation, it's, it's just the same. It's awesome. The texture is great. It blends in just like a moisturizer. I never have any patchiness or like weirdness on my skin. It just kind of sinks right in. I'll zoom in real close. So yeah, it just kind of looks like my skin. It doesn't feel like anything on my skin, which is awesome. Um, it's long wearing. It'll last me right till nighttime without like patching off funny. What else is great about it? It doesn't go oily or shiny on me. It stays this consistency the whole day. So I just feel like it's an all-in-one perfect package of a BB cream. It's got skincare properties, but it works as a foundation. It's one easy step. I can use my fingers and it's got enough coverage and it holds up all day. So it's a definite win in my book. Uh, if I was to rate it in, out of five stars, I would give this one a five star and I definitely want to pick up the lighter shade so that I can use it on its own without having to mix it with foundations. So yeah, if you have any questions about it, definitely feel free to let me know in a comment down below and thank you so much for watching. Bye!